Of course, like every sutra, it begins with, Thus have I heard. Once when the Blessed One was in Savati at Anathapindika's park at Jeta's grove, a pernicious view had arisen in a bhikkhu named Sati, who was the son of a fisherman. His view was that it is the consciousness that passes from one life to another in the round of rebirths called sansara. So when we talk about sansara or rebirth, uh, he thought it was this consciousness that goes from one life to another. Now, uh, we find that many writers on Buddhism also, when they talk about rebirth, they use a term which is called uh, reincarnation and another term called uh, transmigration. So it is important to understand that what this bhikkhu called Sati was thinking in that similar way that uh, this is why he thought that this was Consciousness, he called it consciousness instead of calling it a soul. But those who think of uh, uh, transmigration or reincarnation, this is because there are some uh, people who think that when uh, a person is born into this world, God puts a soul into that body. And that soul being put into the body is called incarnation. That is the meaning of incarnation. And when a person dies, they think that the soul comes out of the body although the body dies the soul will remain without the body that is called discarnation and when people talk about rebirth they think that discarnate soul re-enters another body. So that is the meaning of reincarnation. So reincarnation means that soul that came out of the body now goes into another body. Now this particular bhikkhu called Sati thought that in a very similar way, instead of calling it the soul, he called it consciousness. There are a lot of Buddhists also who think like that. So this is why it is very important to understand that in this particular sutra, the Buddha is not talking about reincarnation or transmigration. Rebirth has nothing to do with reincarnation or transmigration. The word rebirth simply means 
it's another birth so we have to understand that what we call life is not the existence of an entity <coughs> entity is something that exists life is not the existence of an entity it is the continuation of an activity so we have to distinguish between an entity and an activity <laughs>